Oh boy. It's hot. That's why I got the fan on. I know I'm a radio man. You're not supposed to have this. Just, yeah, uh, gotta turn it off. Oh, come on. Do I have to? Come on, I'll turn it off after I drink a little bit of my smoothie. I made a smoothie this morning. I told the truth, I forgot what it was in it. I just put stuff in there banana, kiwi, some uh, some kind of fruit, some some, uh, some something plums. I don't know. Oh, ghost milk yogurt. Oh, so you say I shouldn't be drinking out here because of some saliva that come in and mess up the yogurt. I don't care. I'm the only one who drinks out of the jar. I don't care if the, if the yogurt, you know, you're not supposed to, like, eat yogurt and then put the spoon, you know, out of the spoon, and the thing, and then, I don't know. Something like that. A long, long, long time ago, I learned that. Mmm. Tastes so good. I actually put a little bit of maple syrup in it, too. Okay, I'll turn the fan off so you can hear what I'm saying. Not that what I'm saying is it's going to be listened to. The reason why I say that is because I'm actually talking to a Democratic Party. Oh boy. Oh, sorry about that. I hit you. Kicked it with my leg. Sorry about that. Democrat Party, man, those guys. Let me move this around a little bit. Ah, That's why I'm still wearing a kente cloth, man. I think the Democrat Party should just adopt kente cloth. <laughs> well, I don't know. Got my fraternity hat on. You know, and you know, you got that. Do you know you got that woman, Kamala Harris? She's a part of sorority. So I'm gonna put my put my old man hat on. You know, I'm gonna put my old man hat on. But hey, it's better. But it's not just better. I like my old man hat. Stylish, you know. Like the Democrat Party. <laughs> oh look, hey, you see, I got a face mask. Vote. It matters. They're using that word matters a lot. I mean, they throw that thing around a lot. That's why I don't, you know, that's why I've, I've stopped saying, well, I said I had to stop saying reparation. But, you know, reparations, that's been thrown out a lot, too. That's why I say reparative justice. That's for, that's for me. But actually, voting, actually, you know, the problem is voting. You, everybody said, well, you, you, you with the system when you vote, whatever. You're absolutely right. That's why I got this thing. I got a mock ballot from the other day. And so what I do is like when when I vote, this is a Missouri one, but I, I vote in Virginia. But they have the same answer. I, I voted last time I voted, I vote in too. There'd be some places in the ballot, like up top, you know, the, like between the, the the Biden guy and you know Biden Harris, you know, bit of man, bit of man, bit of man, bit of man. He gonna come with this wench for you. No, a couple of said. Versus the, the Duff man with his Pence boy. Did you have you noticed? Here's the thing. Pence don't be saying nothing. He's not on a campaign trail. I guess he is down low. Nobody's covering him, right? But, you know, but Biden's been hiding. He, he's still hiding. But they got Kamala up there doing a whole lot of stuff like that. And she'd be attacking Trump. She don't say nothing about Pence. be attacking Trump. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, do I, I, I write in. I write in. So I'll be writing in ADOS. Actually, I'll be writing www.ados101.com. And then other places I'll be writing www.producejustice.com. Those are my two organizations. You know, Produce Justice is like my code uh, that, I, that I live by. And uh, ADUS is my political, you know, my political, for, for the time being, I mean, there's no other political viable thing out there, you know, that I can't vote. There's no, well, there's no political, there's no, there's no other political thing out there that's happening right now. Nobody's doing politics. Everybody's doing a lot of yapping, blah, blah, blah. Even reparations people, they want reparations. There's no, I don't know. So I do that. But talking about, but here's the thing, man. Oh, talking about Kamala Harris, right? She's out there, you know, uh, I saw a thing on uh, Useful Idiots. You know, Matt Taibbi and Katie Halper, she, they have this program, Useful Idiots. They had an important one because they have this guy that, that, that's been filming uh, a documentary or well, he's a documentarian for uh, for the uh, I guess WikiLeaks, whatever. Haven't been doing the whole Julian Assange thing. Talk about reporting, man. Y'all don't know you, man. Between that guy that got locked up in jail, I, w I was also listening to um, uh, the Black Blockchain uh, Summit. You know, and they had the the what? Uh, this woman was on a panel. Who was she on the panel with? 
Oh, with Isaiah. T Do I have my books? Oh, I did this guy. This guy wrote this book. She was on a, not a panel. They were having a discussion. They were talking together. Uh, Isaiah Jackson, you know, Bitcoin and the, and the black uh, and Black America, right? Had a really deep conversation about her. Her son's in jail for ideas. So you got one person in jail for idea, locked down all the time. Yeah, Junior son's idea for basically. I, 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 anyway, but I, I I read like two. Of the, I'm like reading like at least usually like two books at a time or three books at a time. Yeah, I haven't gotten into uh, uh, Bitcoin yet. Not this one because I just been finished. I just finished up uh, Breath, but I say Breathe, you know. And I'm doing this one now too. And when I finish doing that, but the, I'm, I'm going to delve into Bitcoin a little bit after the conference, I think. Like that. But here's the thing. So they got Kamala up there. And when I saw it on Matt Taibbi thing, um, she had a... It's talking about immunization. Oh. And then basically I said, well, she's going to get shots if, 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 if Trump say whatever. And she did political answer. Now, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, Okay. However, I will tell you this. I haven't had a flu shot. I ain't had no shot. Well, I had tetanus shots throughout the years. And I hadn't had a flu shot since 1970 when I went into the service. I was a medic, so I didn't have to. I, I refused to take flu shots. All this time from 1970 up to, that's right, up to now, 2000, 2020? How many years is that? Y'all figure it out. I'm not good at that. Well, actually, I'm all right at math. But that means I ain't had a shot in all these years. I don't get sick with flu. I don't get nothing like that. I certainly ain't going to take no flu shot that these people are, are, are pushing on people. You know, they have, the, especially when you realize that, uh, what's that boy? Uh, Billy the Gates and his woman, you know, they pushing this flu stuff. Mm. They pushing this flu stuff. And it's shots. And of course, they're using Africans. Oh man, Africa! But get their act together, you'll be wiped out. And now you got this, this whole nano things that you can that they're developing too. So you could put some nano stuff in somebody's body you, with, the, with the shot and all the rest of that stuff. Like I said, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but hey, I ain't taking flu shot in a long time. In fact, the last shot against my own better judgment because I, this has happened last year. I was, in my area in South Africa, there was a, there was a high TB uh, rate. And I, you know, it never bothered me when I had, but for some reason I had let the VA talk me into taking a TV shot uh, last year. And as soon as they hit that sucker, I got shingles. He said, well, shingles had nothing to do with it. Look, I'm just telling you, I'm wired. I'm, I'm wired. I'm, I'm completely wired up all the way. So if you do one thing, then it's going to affect my my nervous system. Okay. Well, it says that the shingles wasn't that bad on me, but it was the first time I ever had shingles in my life. So I'm going like, Nah, there's no way I'm getting no shot. Oh, but you can't go into this country. But well, that's I just ain't going to be able to go into no country. You're not going to be able to do that. I'm just not going to be able to do that. See, I'm, I'm I'm one of those people that you know, ultimatums. I take ultimatums, but I ain't cooperate with these people. That flu shot. I said, you oh, you going to take flu shot? You got to let me see. Let me give see. Give it to your kids. Go ahead and let me wait three years. <laughs> I'll wait three years for my flu shot. If you give it to your kids, give it to your peoples, you know, I still won't take it. <laughs> hmm. But back to this thing with Kamala, because she didn't really answer whether she's going to take a flu shot. Politician. But the thing is, I, you know, I'm on the internet a lot. Not internet, I'm on my phone, whatever. You know, whatever. I, 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 I read, I do other things too. But you know, I walk, I mean, I walk long. I'm doing, I'm doing my exercise. That's another reason why, you know, I believe in building up your immune system. You know, before they had, and I just believe in building up your immune system. Let's put it that way. You know, so I take all kinds of, and not a lot, supplements, but, you know, exercise, 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 exercise. And I'm getting more into it. One of the books I, I had to do is somatics, you know, and that and napping, napping. Hey, shout out to Nat Ministry. That's right. Nat Ministry. I believe in napping. But then again, I'm an old man. Died. I can take naps. So, but I was thinking, because I'm on the internet and I keep, I haven't seen it lately because I guess it's over. They had this campaign. We had Chuck Schumer and Stacey Abrams talking about send money to the Democrat party or something like that. 
I ain't sending them diddly. <laughs> you know, I ain't sending them a darn shit. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm, I don't vote because uh, because I'm trying to support any one of these, these idiots right there. I vote because for me, it's fun games. I have to have some fun in my life. One day, pff, means nothing. You know what I mean? Now when I can write in ADOS and produce justice, I like a survey. It's like a real survey to me. But here's the thing. I'm thinking... Well, they got so so. This is the job they gave Stacey Abrams to to little, you know, the blackface to little. Uh, I don't know who this. Who's gonna? I don't know. You know, here we, we got something for you to do, Stacey. You can't be vice. You can't run for vice president. You can do this. Then Kamala's out here, you know, doing all these interviews, trying to, you know, um, do more interviews than Biden. So there you go, Democrat Party, party of black women. Mm-hmm. Which is exactly why it ain't going to work. I said this before, I'm going to say it again. White women, white people, white men especially, but white people don't. Hey, what, 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 what I have some, I have some American Indian in me, you know, some Native in me, right? You know, Native American in me, you know, some autochthonous from this, from this land in me. You know what they say? White men speak with forked tongue. So, you know, they ain't not gonna let no black woman be president of the United States. They just not. Not right now. Oh yeah, everybody got their hopes on Nina Turner, whatever everybody, but I'm just telling these white people are not gonna let, they are not gonna let Kamala Harris be president. And you know, if you vote for Biden, then they did, everybody's hoping that, that you know, he do, I mean, he <laughs> croak or something like that, and Kamala take over, and then, Everybody be celebrating. Yay, yay, yay. We got somebody else to lock us up, take away our freedoms. It's like they say, they lock up that boy, the Bitcoin boy that we have some for ideas, Julian Sons for ideas. They locking up for ideas now. In fact, you know what? These cases were wrought now. Here's what these cases were wrought, especially in Julian Sons' case. It, one of the things that, that I learned from this Matt uh, uh Katie Halper interview with this. With this guy, I'm sorry, I forgot the name of the guy. I think he's from uh, Ecuador or something like that. Uh, he's a filmmaker, documentary. I should look him up, man. Oh, this is this is terrible. Where's my other phone? Hey, nah, I'll leave it alone. Uh, I'll put it in the show notes. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll write his name because I don't. In fact, I'll put a link to the to the thing because he was really good. But one of the things is like what will come out of this Julian Assange thing. I don't think people are understand. When I say people, I'm talking about journalists. It's, what what it's journalism? There's no such thing as, uh, even around the world, they're not looking at this. That means, say, for instance, this book, We the People, comes across, same when I was arts director, it comes across my desk. Just it coming across my desk, I've committed a crime. Just it coming across my desk. I don't know, I, I, I come to the package, I open up, oh, We the People. I said, what's this? As soon as I do that, I'm criminal. That's, that's the way this country is going. I'm... Um, that's what the, the read the case. I have this not my laws and my this you know journalism not even my thing anymore. I'm an audio dramatist. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is good. Um, so look, I just wanted to just blow at you for a second, just saying. And it, none of this stuff is going to work, but we got to figure out something. We got time now with the COVID. You got time to figure out something. I don't know what you're going to figure out, but figure out something. Because the, the, the jig is in. You know, they give you these two people, these two old white men. Stop listening to white men, <laughs> especially old white men. Stop listening to them. Don't pay attention to them. What's the matter with you? Stop paying attention to old white men. I talk to this old white man in this community right now. Let me tell you, he's disingenuous. He'd be saying, well, I don't know about that. But, man, I'm gonna jump on his. What do you mean you don't know about? You don't know about Jim Crow. You in Miss, you in Missouri? You never know about Jim Crow? Well, I, I heard, what? You don't know about that the, the cop doing this? Well, if he did that, it was it what? Come on, man. Your willful ignorance is not. All right, right. Look, I just want. I don't know. Talk, I guess. Because it upsets me. They use old white men using everybody. The old white media. Who owns that media? Old white men. But Jeff Bezos is not that old. Okay, 
all white mentalities, the system, all white mentalities run this world. And we all got to just shut them, sh shut them aside. It's like, bye, bye, bye. And your crew. All white mentalities. Okay, let me not make it. Let me make, make people because then you all get more all upset. All white mentalities. If this thing, this banking system came from all white mentality, that system is going on, and you can't game that system, what are you participating in it for? Uh, look, I'm going to let y'all go, you know, because, you know, time is valuable, I guess, you know. I, I want to read some books and stuff like that. So y'all take care. See you again sometime.